I've been really happy with my Vivor lathe, my 7x12 lathe for uh, making rings, but one thing it didn't come with, because this is kind of the base model, is it didn't come with a tachometer. There's no speed measurement. I can't tell how fast it's spinning. So it doesn't have those little speed meters here or here. So I'm going to install one. I've got like a little external magnetic activated tack and hour meter and this does double duty it'll show how fast it's spinning and it will also uh tell me how long i've been using the lathe so kind of keep hours you know how many hours i've used it so i know when i need to you know maybe grease it up or oil it or do maintenance so that's kind of nice so i got this little tachometer for eh, it's probably about less than 15 bucks off of amazon and uh, I think it's going to be an easy fit, so let's take a look at it. So we'll do an unboxing. Basically, it came on a little card and uh, had a little sticker on here that says, Don't eat the battery. So it does have a battery. So we'll go ahead and open this up. And that was anticlimactic. And there it is. So there's the little, the little, uh, little meter. A little reader that I'll have to mount and there's like a little um, magnet Let me get that out Wow you cut that thing out the surgery here. So there's just a little very strong magnet and uh, it shows zero but if I start waving the magnet in front of it it starts reading and it'll tell me how fast uh, right here how fast uh, I'm uh, th that uh, uh, spindles going around I mean and then when it stops it will go back and it'll tell you how long it's been, uh, how many hours it's been in use. So none right now, 0.0, .0 hours. So uh, it's brand because it's brand new. So I think what we need to do is figure out how we're going to mount this guy, the little uh, reader, and then we have to mount this little magnet. And I think there's you have to mount it and make sure you get the right polarity. Otherwise, I think they say it won't read. So doesn't look like it's so. But uh, this guy, I don't think he has magnets on him. So there's like a, some little screws that we can mount on the head of the lathe. Just drop those in and mount it. So let's take a look inside the headstock and figure out how we're going to do this. Taking off this little cover is really easy. There's just uh, some four millimeter bolts, hex bolts, and uh, just undo those get in here and this is just a plastic cover this plat this is just plastic so no won't be any problem drilling through that if we need to do that so now we need to look in it and figure out how we're gonna mount the little reader him How we're going to mount this little reader and he has to be a quarter of an inch from that magnet and where we're going to mount that magnet and we'll probably just kind of stick the magnet on this so uh let's go ahead and i might have to do some measuring and see maybe we can just drill a hole in that uh in that this uh in this maybe just drill a hole and mount him in that and have him stick it right up real close to that so let me do some measurements. Well, this cover, when it's on, is flush with the top and flush with the back. So that's a reference surface and that's a reference surface. So we take the cover off and then I measured with my calipers how far from this surface to this magnet. When he's kind of straight out, when he's rotated all the way straight out to the back. And that, like this way, 
and that's 42.78 millimeters is what I measured. Measured it several times. Then I measured how far in he is from this edge to the center of that magnet. And that was 45.88 millimeters. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer those measurements to the cover to going down and in and we'll drill a hole right here. All right, so I can get it to 45.88. So we're just gonna go scrub the little line. Where? All right. And then from the top, it's going to be 42.78. So, all right. So we scrub down from the top. And that's right there. All right. That's going to be where we're going to drill our hole right there. So the, this little uh, reader is 4.9 millimeters. So I, I use my ancient drill index I found on the side of the road when I was in high school. And uh, got this close as I could and just gonna go ahead and drill it. So this is just plastic, so. That's all it took. So now we need to measure how far from this edge, this outside edge, to the uh, magnet, because we don't want to have that thing actually whacking into the magnet. So we take a measurement, and this is eyeballing it. It's about, it's probably about 20 millimeters. Yeah, a little over 20 millimeters. So, what I'm gonna do is set that little uh, reader so it's poking in less than 20 millimeters, probably about 19 millimeters. So I got the little reader and a washer and a bolt. So, I, sorry, a nut. So I put the reader in, put the washer in on it. Turn it where you can actually see it. And then I put the little bolt on here. I'm sorry, the nut there. And turn it down. Let's get him away. It's about 19 millimeters from that outside edge. Actually, a little less. We don't want to whack that little uh, magnet. If we need to, we can always adjust it in. All right. So let's uh, take it over and hook him up and see what we have. I put the cover back on. It's not too tight, but I went and said put it on so it's good and lined up. And that little reader's right here. And I'm going to turn the chuck with my hand because I don't want to turn it on because I don't want that thing going whack 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 if we made a mistake and it's not hitting so that's good it looks like we're actually getting some reading so let's go ahead and give it a test spin let's see what we have So 
and this is looking good. It's not whacking on the uh, on the little magnet. If it was whacking on the magnet, what I would do is just uh, back up this nut here and kind of pull them out a little bit. So, uh, but uh, looks like it's doing good. Okay. Now I took a pencil and I just scribed two little tiny dots for these two mounting holes in this plastic cover where I'm going to mount it. So i uh, just going to go ahead and take them off and drill two little, little holes to put the little mounting screws and we'll mount this guy. This sure doesn't slide around. Oops. Gotta pull that out. Yeah. Just mount him. These little included screws. Okay, let's mount him back on the lathe. One thing I am going to do for sanity's sake is take a little bit of CA glue and just kind of glue this guy down onto this piece so he doesn't... If he, if he went flying, he'd be inside the lathe, the head cover, but I just don't want him moving around. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little dot of uh, CA glue under him and then put the uh, cover back on. Just a tiny little dot. There we go. Let's get him back on. I'm sure he's still not touching or anything. Yep, he's good. All right, last thing I'm gonna do is just uh, kind of tighten up this uh, piece of this cable. The uh, tachometer came with like a little, couple of little zip ties. Uh, and so you can just tie up your extra cable with a little zip tie. Get it out of the way so that would be good and when you take this off you take the whole thing off so it's not like this is going to get strained or anything so actually it's pretty cool I'll show you the uh once more the tachometer And uh, I'm going to turn it off. Looks like my, my, uh, my lathe has been running for one-tenth of an hour. So I've got one-tenth of an hour on my, uh, on my lathe motor. So that, uh, that way when I, when I get, uh, after I use it for a while, I know when I need to oil it up. So that was a really easy, um, really easy in upgrade. Something I really wanted to do because that didn't come with my lathe. And I use this lathe amazingly for making wood rings. And uh, that's what I do, is I make rings from Heritage and Legacy Woods, the deck of battleships, the uh, stocks of M1 Garands from custom woods that people send me, my customers. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'd love to make a ring for you. Check out hillcountryrings.com. And I'll be making some more ring videos using this lathe very soon. Thanks, everybody.